I've got another YZ125 video here for you today. Um, we're going to be reinstalling the transmission. I kind of just got it sitting here. I will show you how I'm going to do it. Um, if you remember when I actually disassembled the, the case, I, uh, when I split the case, the transmission remained in the right hand side of the case. Same with the YZ250F. Now when I did reassemble the YZ250F, I put everything back in the right hand side of the case. It's kind of more convenient when you're actually building the motor, but it's a pain to put in that way. If you remember that video, it was an absolute nightmare. Um, and that's how I've always done it. I'm going to try it a different way this time and I think it's going to work. Before you do anything, you want to make sure your shift forks and your, all your gears are, are intact. You don't want to put this all back together and discover you had a bad shift fork or something like that. Um, so the first thing to do, and this is the left hand side of the case now, we've got the gears in here and they actually slide in pretty easy. So as long as you slide them in at kind of the same time, I'll show you what I've done here. You'll notice I'm missing a couple gears on that. What I've done is I have the two larger gears just sitting down in there. They're just sitting there. They're not uh, in anything. So that makes it easier on reassembly because of the lining up issues. Let me get you back down here. So when I reassemble this, I can actually put these two together somewhat not exact, and then kind of slide this all back in at the same time, minus those two larger gears because those are your, your harder gears to, to put in there. And we should be just about lined up here. Might have to finesse it a little. And I'm kind of looking away from the camera. There we go. And they'll eventually just drop into place. Make sure they're both in there. And they both are. Both seated in there. Now the next thing you want to do is take your shift forks. And the area that your shift forks kind of hover over. Right there. And right over there. These little pockets here. But we don't need to worry about that quite yet. What we're going to do is put our shift forks in here. And if you'll notice, the shift forks right on these little gears here. Now you've got, again, three of them. You've got to figure out which way they go. So by looking at these, and it does say in the book, we've got an L, an R, and we've got a T, I think. I believe the L is the lower, and I can tell by the size. Put this at the one at the bottom here. I'm going to lift that gear up, get it in there. And we've got this one here, which is the R. See, I'm just sliding it in that little, little groove. And you see this in person, it makes a lot of sense. And then the other side, there's only one. And we've got to find that little groove, which is down here. There. And you can see these are all kind of just hovering over those holes where they need to be. Now, next thing we do, we take our drum, and since these do not have the pegs in them yet, the rods, take our drum, the little side goes up, and it slides into that other hole right there. We'll take our drum, and since these aren't attached, they move, and we'll put the drum in here. Make sure it's in its hole. Then we can take our shift forks and we can slide them into the appropriate slots. And again, it's it's a lot easier in person when you actually see what I'm doing. You may have to move things around a bit. Make sure we got a lower drum. Yeah. There we go. Slide them in the slots. Slide the other sl side into the drum slot. And this is the only thing that makes it difficult on this side. The other side, it's if you can get it in one shot, it's a lot easier, but it's hard to get it in one shot. I'm 
just got one gear a little hung up here. You just need to get it raised. And I think because it's in the middle of a shift that we're not able to do that. Yeah, it is in the middle of a shift actually. There we go. Sorry about that. And all you gotta do is just spin the gears to where they line up. Okay, now we've got them all where they need to be on the shift drum. And the last step, you take your rods and you put them where they need to go. There we go. And voila. You can shift. Make sure you can shift. It's going to be kind of hard to do with your hand, but as long as you've got your, your folks going up and down, you can see that's a shifting action. There we go into another gear. down and it looks like we're all set so the next step would be to uh, apply your gasket sealer on here and put the other uh, well actually the next step is going to be to install the crank um, which we've got right here and we'll go ahead and actually slide that in here and this is where it kind of gets tricky because when you do put it on the <coughs> excuse me the right hand side you've got this all in place it's all locked down well, when you do it this way, you don't. So, go ahead and install our crank. And we'll have to tap that in place a little bit. Don't want it down there. Tap that in place. And then we'll uh, go ahead and put the other half on. We'll come back uh, in the next video and we'll put the ceiling on and then we'll put the other half, half on. But that's kind of it. Hopefully I caught most of that and hopefully that makes sense. It's really hard to get in there, especially when I'm the only one filming. But uh, there's your working transmission, a little bit easier way this time. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you're able to get that. So please feel free to post any questions or comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.